Hi guys, in this video, we will be sharing with you how to find current trending topics. If you have other recommendations, please let us know in the comments below. Number 18 is Abstract. Abstract is the most well-known news aggregator, because it compiles the most important stories, from other websites into a single convenient location. You may read the latest headlines from a variety of online news sources, including Google News, Yahoo News, Reuters, and the NY Times. In addition, popular media from sites like YouTube, Vimeo, and Giphy can be seen and explored. Number 17 is BuzzFeed Trending. BuzzFeed expanded by focusing on what people were talking about online. You may have faith that BuzzFeed will identify relevant trends. On the plus side, they show the latest BuzzFeed trends to visitors on the right side of the homepage, making it simple to keep up with the latest fashions. BuzzFeed's most popular articles are typically organized as lists. You can use this information as a resource for both keyword and topic ideas, as well as for guidance on how to best structure your titles. The site is successful because visitors click the links. You pick it up as well. Number 16 is Pinterest Trends. Pinterest Trends provides a historical perspective on the most popular search phrases and categories in the United States, the United Kingdom, and Canada over the past year. Anyone may use Pinterest Trends to see what people are interested in and when they start searching for it. Searches under popular categories like fashion, food and drink, beauty, and home will also be shown, giving you a complete picture of what people are looking for today. After that, you can use this potent tool to examine regional and industry-specific seasonal trends and keyword popularity. Number 15 is SEMrush. SEMrush is a popular SEO and competition research tool that includes a keyword research tool that displays a 12-month search trend for keyword variations, keyword questions, and related keywords. It's a worthwhile investment for content marketers who wish to write about topics that are gaining traction in SERPs. Number 14 is Twitter. An introduction is probably not necessary. Although the concept has been around for a while, Twitter popularized it by prominently displaying trending topics on their front page and profile pages. It is still the most reliable method for gauging public opinion on national issues and cultural developments. When searching hashtags, you can seek for trends happening all over the world or you can narrow your search to a single country. Twitter's promoted trends are another option to examine if you have the funds. These hashtags will be prioritized on the homepage for the specified geographical area. For maximum effect, include your brand name in the hashtag. Number 13 is YouTube Trends. It is a better approach to expand your channel by utilizing current YouTube trends. YouTube, the world's second most popular video sharing website, features content on all the latest and greatest trends happening in countries all over the globe. News, current events, and viral videos are all featured there as soon as they become available. Trending videos on YouTube can provide a wealth of data on the tastes and preferences of the general public. Consequently, it will be less difficult to create content that may be enjoyed by the greatest number of people. Number 12 is Feedly. By displaying the most current news published, from your selected list, Feedly is one of the most effective tools for spotting trending topics and keeping up with your sector. Paid options in Feedly include the ability to subscribe to newsletters, Twitter, and Google News feeds. On the other hand, you can utilize its AI-driven bot to look for certain topics across the web. Number 11 is Taboola Trends. Each week, Taboola Trends collects and analyzes data from native ad campaigns across the Taboola network, totaling about 75 million clicks and 50 billion impressions. Marketers can utilize this information to inform data-driven strategies for reaching their target audiences. Users can get the most relevant insights and best practices for their audiences by filtering data by country, language, platform, or industry. Number 10 is Muckrack Trends. You can enter up to six keywords at once into the Muckrack Trends page and see a visual representation of the amount of attention being paid to the issue. You may search articles from all over the internet that are related to a given topic, compare the popularity of other themes, and analyze the trends over time with this handy tool. It not only tells you what's trending and what isn't, but also which news outlets are actively covering the topics you care about. It's a great way to find authors in your genre and learn from their successes and failures. Number nine is industry outlook. While the specific publication you consult for ideas should be tailored to your target demographic, you may still get a sense of what's popular by reading the coverage given to the issue by the most prominent publication in your field. Consider who you're writing for, the topics they're interested in, and the platforms they use to stay informed. 
Then, read these periodicals to keep up with potential future trends. This is an indirect method for identifying popular topics, yet it works. Number 8 is BuzzSumo. BuzzSumo is a great resource for identifying emerging trends and key opinion leaders. To do a search, simply enter the topic, keyword, or domain you're interested in. The total number of shares across various social media platforms such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, and others is used to rank search results. While individual articles can be read by clicking on the link, general trends in public opinion can sometimes be discerned by merely perusing the titles of the top search results. The starting monthly price is $99 and goes up to over $499 for the enterprise level. Number 7 is Reddit. It's no secret that Reddit is a hotspot for passionate discussions on any topic imaginable among regular people. On the site, users can upvote or downvote various topics, with only the most popular ones being displayed on the front page. If you want to know what people are talking about right now, all you have to do is visit Reddit's front page. Discovering subreddits or subpages that are dedicated to specific themes and offer more precise insights is the greatest way to take advantage of Reddit. Number 6 is Quora. Members of Quora are encouraged to share their knowledge by responding to questions posed by other users. The goal of the organization is to build a large database of questions and answers in order to share and grow the world's knowledge. To get a taste of what people are talking about most on Quora, just look at the top story stream that appears on the homepage. Popular content, as determined by upvotes, comments, and shares, can also be viewed, and specific keyword phrases can be searched for. Number 5 is Keyhole. Using Keyhole, you can monitor hashtag activity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. It's like Google Alerts, except for your social network accounts. For this reason, you can set up a real-time alert, on a certain subject matter of interest. If you have the means to do so, use this tool as a brand defense mechanism, by having an employee monitor all mentions of your brand in real time, and ensuring a rapid response to any problems or complaints. Number 4 is Social Mention. It examines the information on several different websites at once. When trying to determine what is trending, it checks over a hundred different sites, such as Dig, YouTube, FriendFeed, and others with user-created content. Social Mention also gives a list of influencers for each query. These are people who frequently publish content related to the topic in question on one or more social media platforms and who have amassed a sizable following and active user base. You can use this directory to find partners and advocates in the field. Number three is Trend Hunter. In addition to providing custom research, books, public speaking services, events, and more, Trend Hunter is a media organization that offers its audience free trend data in the form of articles. To be sure, there is no shortage of trend spotting resources available today. The most effective marketing platforms enable users to organize useful content like emails, articles, and alerts for later use in creating successful campaigns. Number two is publications editorial calendars. The editorial calendars of magazines, like those of conferences, are frequently created with seasonal search trends in mind. You can use editorial calendars from publications to uncover trends that you know will be at their peak around holidays and other special times of the year as you put together your content schedule for the coming year. Number one is Google Trends. If you want to know what people are searching for in your field, Google Trends is your best bet. It keeps an eye on search trends throughout the world and provides a plethora of data broken down by time frame, location, subject area, and query type. You can do a web search that includes YouTube, Google Shopping News Search, and Image Search, for example. By selecting a country and then a state, you can learn more about that region, which can lead to more focused keyword research. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to help us to like and share. If you have yet to subscribe to our channel, remember to click on the subscribe button, and most importantly hit on the bell icon, so that you will be able to receive notification when we launch a new video. See you in the next video. Thank you.